It takes courage to be exceptional. It takes courage to be wise. It takes courage to be rich. It takes courage to be educated. It takes courage to be knowledgeable. Because the moment you do, but you, you don't talk like you, oh, you don't got, forgot where you came from. Look at you, you talked to you. It takes courage. And I'm just wondering, in this weak, watered down, mediocre society that we live in today, in this reality TV world we live in today, I'm wondering if there's anybody left that's got the courage to say after all I've been through and all my ancestors have been through and all my parents have been through, I didn't come through all of that just to fit in with normalcy. I have the courage to go after my dream and stand for the Lord. Is there a woman left in this entire Colosseum that's got some courage? If you quit, Whatever you were trying to accomplish can never happen. There's not even a remote possibility. If you quit, there is no chance of it popping back up again, coming back later. Quitting is guaranteed failure. A lot of how you live your life and how you succeed in life is who you associate yourself with and who your friends are. And my parents taught me that my whole life, and I heard my friend's parents say it, and then it just was ringing true. It's like you associate and, and, and hang out with people that are like-minded or that you want to be like, and then you go out and do it. How do you sleep on nights when you lose five million bucks? Mm, a nice cigar. <laughs> hey, you got to celebrate your failures and your success, Yeah, you know, that. because there is a lesson to be learned in everything. You know, when you have a great success, a good exit, you sell a company or whatever it may be, you celebrate because it's a good milestone in life. And then when you lose something bad happens, hey, it's an expensive lesson learned. You still celebrate it. Yeah. Because if, if you take it with a negative notation, that's just going to keep eating you inside and it's going to limit your upside. A lot of people feel they're burnt out because they're doing too much. I think you're doing too little of the things that make you feel alive. Mm. You're doing too little of the things that really matter in your life. You know, I always tell people, don't downgrade your dreams to fit your current reality. Upgrade your mindset, mm. your motivation, your methodology to really meet your, 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 your destiny, the yeah. things that you want most in life. Oh, I always thought we would fail, so this is uh, all, it's all upside. You know, I thought maybe we had a 10% chance of reaching orbit starting out, so then, uh, yeah, people thought when we started SpaceX, they said, oh, you're going to fail. I said, oh, I agree. I think we probably will fail. Yeah. But it's worth trying anyway. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. How's that for honesty, huh? Yeah. They this, this, this said I'd lose all, all, like, you know, lose all the money from PayPal. I was like, well, you're probably right. You know? And we almost did. We had the first three launches of Falcon 1 didn't work. Then the fourth one, we scraped together some parts and... And that one worked, and if that one hadn't worked, it would have been, that would have been it for us. So, um. I made a lot of my money investing in silver in 1964. And it was, back then, it was really worth 10 cents. <laughs> Today it's worth $3. So the key to success is being early, getting on the train. And the reason I say the idiots out there are still saving dollars, you gotta be kidding me better open your mind up that's what I'm saying so I'm an old guy I have gold silver and Bitcoin the reason I like crypto is for one reason it's outside a system it doesn't depend on the Fed the Federal Reserve Bank or the Treasury or Wall Street you can't tell God how to bless you see you, you can't tell him what you want and then tell him how to do it because it ain't gonna ever be the way you want it to because if, if where you at today, if God had showed you what you would have to go through to get to where you are today, you would turn back. You would go, oh, no, 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 no. I don't want that part. I don't want to do that. I don't want that part. You would have, and you would have missed who you are today. Because in order to get to who you are, you had to go through every single thing you went through. You wouldn't even know what you know. You, you know, you hear old people say all the time, you can't have a testimony without a test. You don't choose your passions, your passions choose you. 
And all of us are gifted with certain passions, and the people who are lucky are the ones who get to follow those things. You can have a job, or you can have a career, or you can have a calling. And if you can somehow figure out how to have a calling, you have hit the jackpot, because that's the big deal. And uh, most people don't ever get there. You know, you're very lucky if you have a career. A lot of people end up with a job. You know, for me, I have been interested in rockets, space travel, propulsion, since I was a five-year-old boy. And I have spent a tremendous amount of time thinking about it. So it's not like I really have a choice to follow this passion. It has captured me. Growing up, your self-worth, I feel, is based on everybody around you. When you're a teenager, it's how many guys like you or whether the guy you like likes you back. That ends up defining whether you love yourself or whether your friends love you. You're not stable, you have no rooting, and so everything that you base your love for yourself on ends up being external. I felt that way for a long time, that I felt something was missing. Like I knew that my love for myself could not be based on other people. There had to be something else that I could have a foundation of, okay, fine, there can be ups and downs, but I never go down to a low where I don't love myself. Mm -hmm. And I definitely think meditation was the turning point for me. And I felt that because it was the one time in the day where I would end up spending time with myself. Like I wasn't spending any time actually thinking, who am I? Like, I, I don't know who I am. And I feel like in a relationship, whether it's with yourself or whether it's with somebody else, you have to know yourself, to love yourself. We never get into relationships with people or friendships with people without knowing them. You know that there is not one single thing that has ever happened to you or will happen to you that will be wasted. If you look at every single crisis, difficulty, challenge, every joy-filled moment that comes into your being, everything is there showing up to make you more of who you were meant to be. Money is to be used. For those of you out there that are like complaining about the cost of anything, the truth is that's what that money's for. The only thing, the only purpose money has is to be used. And, and I was scared that I couldn't produce more money. So every time I spent money, I complained about it. Today, I'm like, that's the biggest mistake I ever made. Should have been spending more money. Uh, it wouldn't have take, taken me 30 years. In the first five years, I should have borrowed money I didn't have, and I should have spent money that I did have, and I should have gone into debt to do it, to get my brand out there, to get it known. The mattress guy in your town did it. The car guy in your town did it. Whoever spent the most money, whoever, whoever put it all out there all the time, every day on every TV, radio, and the internet, wins the battle. It's not the prettiest guy, okay? It's not. It's the guy that out-advertises you, that outspends you. It takes courage to make the one certainty in business is that it's always going to be changing. The, if, if you're not always learning if, to this minute, if, if I'm not continuously learning, if I'm not just absorbing as much as I can absorb, someone else is going to kick my ass.